This is an Elmer heat radiation tutorial. We're going to use VirtualBox to open the Elmer um, image that was provided through their site. I had some trouble running Elmer on my Linux distribution. That's why I had to use the Elmer VirtualBox image. Uh, we're running FreeCAD inside the VirtualBox. And this is an app image. We're going to create a new project. From the drop down menu in the toolbox, we select part. And here we're going to fabricate it, the, the models that we, are, we want to experiment with. Initially, I'm going to create two boxes and modify them so I create two surfaces. And for the second part, I'm going to create some two more boxes, but I'm not going to use them, so we can just ignore them. The first step is to create our model in FreeCAD and then export it. So we can open it with GMSH that we're going to perform the separation of the volumes into groups and then create a mesh, export this mesh, open it into Elmer GUI, perform all the simulations and then the results are going to be exported in a format that ca they can be opened in Paraview. I'm not going to go on the details on how to create uh, the models. I'm guessing you are a bit familiar with the FreeCAD software. Otherwise, you can just follow the steps that are shown here. From those four elements, we're going to use only two of them for the simulation. Uh, in this step, we have to make Boolean fragments after we complete uh, the models, the geometry, and then set it to comp solid mode. Refresh to recalculate the model, and then apply compound filter, which is going to remove some of the elements, but by using a filter type bypass and recalculate it, it shows all the elements. Now we have to export it in a step file that can be opened from GMSH. Now let's open GMSH and open the exported step file. From here we have to go to Options, Geometry, Visibility and tick the volumes so we can see the volumes. We're gonna use this in order to group the volumes and we have to go to geometry boolean fragments from there we have to choose each volume by just clicking the yellow ball and then press e one time and then a second time the e and we have to choose create new geo file <coughs> then we will quit with q we're ready to create the mesh we first create a 2D mesh, then a 3D mesh, and in order to increase the mesh density, we can choose Refine by Splitting. Now the mesh is quite dense and we can export it. We choose the folder and then we have to choose the extension. That's going to be a UNV extension. Save it and click OK without 
choosing any of the other boxes. Now it's time to run the Elmer GUI. We're going to open the mesh that we created, the UNV file. And now we have to verify that each volume is independent. So each volume has its own body. Then we're going to create an equation. We're going to choose heat equation and click active. We can choose all the bodies and hit OK. Now we're going to set a material. We can choose any material. For the testing purposes, we're going to choose aluminium. Choose all the bodies to have the same property and click OK. Next, we have to uh, create some boundary conditions. So here we go to heat equation and we have to set uh, some external temperature if we want to use radiation. Choose diffuse gray, set an emissivity and click the boundary open tick box. And this is used when we want two surfaces to interact with radiation. Now we're going to create another boundary condition where we're going to apply some external temperature. So we have a temperature difference and we can see the temperature flow in the diagram later. We hit OK. Now we have to set the surface that we want. We have the radiation and the external temperature. So we choose the surface that are going to interact. We set radiation, hit OK. And then we choose another surface and apply the external temperature. The next step is to create a, a folder where all our files are going to be saved. Select it and click open. Now we go to SIF, generate. So this generates the mathematical script and then we save. After that we can go to run and click the run solver. We have to check that the solver is finished without any errors. We don't need those windows anymore so we can close them. And now the result is ready and we can view the results in Paraview. But to do that I had some problem running Paraview inside the virtual box. So I have to export the files to my Linux distribution and I'm doing this using the shared folders option. So here we set the folder of my Linux distribution and below we set the folder, the shared folder inside the image. And after we set this, we're going to have a folder inside the machine, the virtual machine that can, has shared uh, files between the machine and the Linux. So we can see that this folder has uh, needs root permissions. So we're getting root using the password Elmer Fem for the Elmer user user. And then we can go to the folder where the results are stored and copy the VTU file extension files. So we're copying the case uh, VTU file to the Elmer shared folder. Now we're going to minimize the virtual box and return to the Linux. So we can open the file manager and verify that the files have been transferred to our folder here. Let's open Paraview and load this file. So we go to open file, 
choose the folder and then the file we open it and then we apply so we can plot the volumes now go to coloring and select temperature we'll plot uh, on the surface of those models the temperature and we can verify that there is a difference now we go to custom uh, and set the custom range we can plot the difference between the the back plate and the front plate difference in temperature as well as the radiated surface